Hey guys, how are you doing? As you see, I've been busy. This is still the old stuff. I want to show you. I did a couple little changes that I think a lot of you will like. Uh, finish this one, refinish the handle on this. Now it's really beautiful. You know, I got rid of all the scratch lines that Matrix Edic focus camera, and now it's like really cool. Some people hate it. Some people love it. I love it. I re I'm a, I'm definitely a fan of the Matrix Edic. I was never a big fan of the Honeycomb. But this matrix, I just love it. You can do so many cool things with it. And uh, it is a lot of work to finish it this this nice. It is a little more work than with the Kree Knight. But I think the the end result is definitely worth it. Like it a lot. It has that really cool, like, well, you know, fake hand wrap sudden finish. So finish that one. That was, that was quite a lot of work. Uh, another one, this one you're going to like. Remember the warning that was, you know, really high polish, but I didn't like it. It wasn't perfect. It was it had way too many like deep scratches that were, you know, they really come up uh, when in the, with the high polish blade they really come up. So what I did over at Tough Times is this, and I know a lot of people will like it because there's a lot of fans of stone wash, and this one came out beautiful. This is really pretty stone wash. You can see that. I like this one a lot, a lot. You can see that it was really high polish because it still peeks through from underneath the stone wash. You can see that kind of mirror image there, which is pretty cool. Uh, one of the things that I will be definitely getting is the bigger stone washer, bigger tumbler like Jeff has. I have the small one. These don't really fit there. So that's pretty neat. I like that a lot. And also stone wash, there was a pretty cool experiment. Where is that one? I think this here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. This was the one that had also that fake hand wrap starting finish and I threw it in the stumbler too. So we have that mix of of stone wash and that hand wrap starting finish which also came up pretty nice. I think it's very very unique. Very, not very unique but pretty cool. Pretty cool finish on that. And I think I stone wash one of these buoys. Which one was it? This one? Yeah. This one had some scratch uh, grind lines too peeking through so I threw it in the tumbler and it kind of make it, I think it look a lot better. So that is also nice. Finish some sheets, there were like two that I didn't fin didn't, didn't do before. I did this also today. Uh, that machete, the knife cherry that I, that I fixed up, the performance, the grind, I wasn't crazy about that swatch and everything and I like that the Micarta handle one a little more, the shape. So what I did, I took this to the grinder again and reground it. And I really like how this came out, you know, I don't know if, how noticeable it is from the video, but I dropped this really down. I pretty much got ground off the whole switch. So start from somewhere here, so it blends in, and then to the tip. So the tip is a lot pointier, streamlined, very light. Now it's really nice in the hand. Very, very nimble, super light. And it's still, I guess, it still has about, uh, I don't know, I guess... 18, 19 ounces, probably 19. It wasn't that much metal there, and it was that switch, so probably didn't drop a lot of weight. But really liking this now. Uh, and what I did actually is I didn't round off the spine. This I just put the like a chamfer angle on it. If you can see that, it's you know kind of like a switch, but it's not really a switch. It's just chamfered corners on the top, like nice and uniform. I like that too, just to do something different than I normally do. And actually around that spine to do it really nice on such a long blade with my grinder it's really hard because you really need very uh, very even surface to do that around that spine on such a long blade and uh, this this was a little easier to make it really nice and you know even looking look at that you see that how the light bounces off like that really like this one now a lot super light and it's gonna be you know pretty much same same pool Maybe not not such a so great with the chopping, but still should be very nice. And the big news, what came today, and I just spent a lot of work on it, stamping. My hands are hurting. There you go. EDCs came from Waterjet today. Very excited. Uh, took a little longer, but definitely worth the wait. Uh, some of you guys know that you know people are complaining that they didn't get a chance to get the EDC, and I told them I. Don't worry, there's gonna be definitely a lot more coming in because I love the design, I love the platform 
uh, people like them. So I just bought the whole sheet of, of, of uh, ABL again, the same exact thing. I'm very happy with it. And if you if you talk to people who tried it, who have the nice from me, everybody loves it so far. Everybody loves it. There was one that I maybe overheated the, the very edge a little bit because the guy said that it, it rolled a little bit too much, and then when he resharpened it, it was perfect. So maybe just maybe I just overheated that that steel. Sometimes you know maybe with the power strapping or, or something. It it happens. You know nobody's perfect. I guess that's my just guessing. I don't know exactly what happened, but he said he it had some little issues, but after resharpening it was all gone and it's perfect. Everybody loves the ABL and uh, I'm a big fan, that's why I go with the ABL. So again, 0.13 and uh, 81 of them. So there's definitely a lot of work ahead of me. But uh, you know what? You know how we say here? Go big or go home. <laughs> so very excited. It's a really cool necklace. Really cool. So many, it's so heavy. I'm gonna try to get them out of the heat treat. Hopefully tomorrow, hopefully I have to somehow get to the post office or something or have somebody, you know, pay somebody to drop it off. So if I get with a little bit a little with a little bit of luck, I get them back before the blade show and I can maybe finish at least one, two or a couple, you know, depending on how, how quick the turnaround will be. So we'll see. So definitely excited about that. That's a big news. And uh, that's uh, definitely a lot of work in front of me. So guys, like I said, just stay tuned, be patient, they will come one way or another, you know, sooner or later they will be here. Same goes for those that are finished, I just need to bring them to the show. I don't think that they all will sell on the show, really seriously doubt that. So, yeah, they will be here when I get back from the Blade, so you guys, you guys can grab them. Guys, hope everybody's doing well, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself.